Hi guys, today we're going to go over the work order tab. To do that, we're going to use this two tons here Goodman as an example. So to get started, first thing we're going to do is click the work order tab, and immediately you'll see that there's two different sections. There's the open work order section, which shows you all of the open work orders, whether they're um, unplanned work orders, planned work orders, work requests, all those different types will fit under both the open work orders and completed work orders section. The completed work order section shows you the complete work history for the asset for work orders. PMs are actually over in the PM tab and logs have them all combined, but we'll cover those tabs in a different tutorial. So in this completed work order section, I can see that this has actually had a lot of work over the last couple of years. Um, we've had a motor blowout, we've had bad compressor, we've done some planned visual inspections, and at any time I can click any of this information to see exactly why. So for example, or see exactly what happened. So for example, we'll click on this bad compressor, you know, it looks like it was assigned to Brian, it was completed by Brian, it cost four hours of downtime, took an hour to complete. Here's my instructions, here's his comments. And so really quickly, you can get a great understanding of the unplanned work that happened on this particular asset. Now this information is available on the mobile application as well. So a technician while they're out on the field working can very quickly pull up the completed work orders history for this asset and see if there's any recurring problems, why it broke down last time, maybe that's why it broke down this time, and it really helps the troubleshooting process and make it a lot quicker for them. The last thing we're gonna do on here is starting a work order. Now you can actually start work orders in several spots inside Limble. We have it right here as a convenience, but you can most definitely start it um, here in the mobile application and in the location dashboard. So there's a lot of different ways to start work. And in each spot, it's basically the same. You simply click this button, type in the description. So let's say there's a bad compressor again. What is the description of work you want done? I want my tech to investigate it and repair if needed. And we'll go ahead and give it off to Brian. Now, as you can see, it's in my uh, open work orders uh, section here. And I'm gonna go ahead and change this to higher priority. And now Brian would have received a push notification and an email notification saying that there's a new task called bad compressor for this two, uh, two tons here, Goodman, and to go work on it right away. Um, this is the work order tab. If you have any questions, please feel free to send us an email at mail at limblecmms.com or leave a comment below and we'll do our best to get back to you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial and you have a great day.